All right, Mr. Lofty here again, and we're looking at lesson two of the educator's kit. Lesson two. We're looking at logical thinking, but here we're looking at the extra activities, all right? So we used, we finished lesson two in order to move in four directions, and now we want to take it a little bit further using logical thinking, using those if statements, using the, the if otherwise statements, using those, uh, we'll get into um, using maybe maybe the end or, or maybe the greater than, all that fun stuff. Well, let's take a look. So here, in this tutorial there's three different tasks the first one is i'm trapped it has one and a four star i think that's a difficulty rating and so let's it says right here uh, our hero can walk right off the screen and we want to make it so he's not allowed to do that so we want to make it pretend that there's a visible invisible barrier along the four sides of the stage and here are some of the blocks as a tip that we might need to use. So there's height of self, width of self. Uh, there's set, you can set the X or, or Y value of the actor um, to a certain, a certain position. Um, but let's open up stencil. Here we go. So I'm just continuing on with uh, the project two. I finished this up. So if we test game, whoop, actually something is, is messed up here. Do, 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 do. We actually want that to be in there. There we go. This is how we want it. Okay, so we have our st our um, code, so we can move in four directions. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I can run test game. So we have we can move to the right. We can move to the left. We can move up. We can move down. So they're saying if the right key is down, set the X speed to 10. That will move you to the right. Otherwise, if the left key is down, move you negative 10 to the left. Otherwise, zero. So let's take try this out left, right, down, up. Beauty, it's working out. We notice our character can go off screen and, well, we can come back, but we want to be able to make it so it stops around this, this line here. And uh, during this tutorial, I'll show you just how to stop it on the left and on the right, because that's all we need for this, um, for this scene, the way it's set up. But by showing that, you should be able to get the hang of how to do it for the top and bottom if need be. All right, so I'm going to close this down. And let's just, uh, it's all right, let's get it back. Okay, here we go. Uh, what we want to do is add an event. So we'll add a basic event, and it will be another wall updating. And for this one, we'll call it Untrapped. Untrapped. Oh no! There we go. And here, let's just bring this off to the side. So suggest we might need to set X to blank for choose actor. Okay, so that's probably under actor. It's probably under, do, do, do. So this is X speed, probably position, because we're, we're changing the position. Yep, set X. So we notice there's no Y, but that's because this is a drop down. We can change it to Y if we need be. And that's for self, because I'm actually in the hero events, right? And what else do we need? Width of self. Well, we're under actor. Five to the actor. Maybe properties of the actor. Let's try that out. Yeah, we kill actor. Nope. Actor's alive. Don't really care. Width of actor. That's what we want. All right, on. Um, height of actor. Well, probably change it there. There we go. We change height, half width. All that stuff is there. And that's all the hints that give. But you know what? I think they're missing one major hint. You know what that is? It has to do with the scene. It has to do with the scene. Do, do, do. Well, I think it has to do with screen width. And I'll tell you in a bit why we'll be needing that. I'll leave that off to this corner all alone. And we'll talk about that in a bit. So, first off, what do we want to do? Well, let's take a look at our level. So we want to say, if this actor here moves beyond this X position, well, they give us a hint to use this, set X to. Maybe you want to set the X back to this position. Okay, 
So if he, you know, he moves one pixel, because all these, all these dots here, all that, like uh, this X and Y, this is measured in pixels. If he moves one pixel negative, so if he's less than zero, let's make him back to zero. So that way he just stays with that. Let's see, let's see what that happens. So, so kind of the way I like to approach these these uh, these problems is to actually talk it out, right? Like so, I'm saying if if our character is less than this, then do this. So it sounds like we might need to use an if statement, right? So go to flow and find my if. And there's if typed in here. You can always type it in, search for it if you need, maybe. But it's important. It's good to to be familiar with, with where these these things are in the palette. So we click and drag, drop it onto our workspace. Let's just put it right in there. Fits beautifully. So we want to say if um, if our our character. Well, we need to know our character's x position. How do we know that? We have set x position, but maybe maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something in the hints. Uh, no, they don't have it in the hints. Actor position. So x of actor. This is a key thing they didn't give you in the hints. So if the x of actor is less than zero. So if we look right here, we can go to comparison. Yeah, we see that there are these. Whoops, we don't want that open. Let's open back our game. So in the comparisons, we can say like if something's equal to something else. If something is not equal to something else, if this and something else, you know. Um, but that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at inequalities. So we can use. Uh, we we want our our actor position is less than zero. So that looks like what we want. So if the X of our hero of self, let's take this guy, plop it down, there we go. It's so less than, well, we said this, this edge here is zero. So let's say that's, if the edge is zero, then that's what this middle thing this comes into play. Then let's, uh, let's set the X to zero. Cell. So right now we notice we didn't use screen width, we did not use width of self, but I might come to play later. Let's just take a look. Loading, loading. Here we go. So now yeah, I can move in all directions, and I come here. Oh, look at that! It's a nice, it's an invisible wall. So that's great. So we see our guy. I can't move left because as soon as I move negative, as soon as I go beyond uh, lower than zero, I get pushed back to zero. I get set back to zero. So that's great. But there is a problem. That's right. I need to think about the right side of the screen. Okay, so I can still wander past that. So what would I do with this? Well, okay, let's let's look at our level. Let's talk it through. I'm going to take my guy and move it closer to this side just when I do testing. I don't have to wander across the whole screen because, you know, little things like that just gets that much more annoying. So I want to say when my guy is probably around there, when he's at the full width of the screen, I want him to be pushed back to the width of the screen. So if, if he's, once he goes, once the X of my actor is greater than, larger than, the width of the screen. I want his x position position to equal the width of the screen. So let's let's talk that out here. Okay, so I want to use another if statement. I'm just going to grab. I'm just going to use because it's going to be very similar to this. Just hold on Alt, click here, it copies it out. And I'll plop it right down. So if the x of myself, I want greater than. So I actually need to pull that out. Comparison. Do, do, do. If my yes greater than so if my x position of my hero is greater than not zero greater than the width of the screen 
you know, you, I guess you could have gone here and been like, well, my screen, you know, it's four, 480 pixels. But the problem with that, it's not consistent. If you change the, uh, the width of your, of your, of your level, then it changes. This, this is always going to be the full width. It's a great thing about it. So throw some trash. If my X position is greater than the width of the screen, then I want to set my X to the width of the screen. Well, let's try this out. Let's see what happens. We still have this width of self we never use, and that was in the hint, so it makes me a little apprehensive. It makes me think maybe this might not work out, but again, game design's an iterative process. It's all about trying it. Oh, look at that. It's not working. It's not working. Why is that? Why is that? What do you think? Think about it. So it might be good to pause the video, try it out for yourself, try something new. I'm going to go ahead with this. Okay, so the, I think what the problem is, is that, okay, this is the zero, 0 of the scene. This is the full width of the scene. But the question is, where is the zero, 0 position of my character? And I'm going to take it to be, I think it's the top left. Just because it worked when I said, um, on the left side, when I said exposition of self can't be less than, you know, if when it's less than zero, set it back to zero. But here, I think if this is zero, then I'm going, I'm going the width of the screen. My character is going like this. And then I'm setting him back to the width of the screen. Which is uh, he? He can. He's probably he can stay around here, but he can't go beyond here. But I can't even see that. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to actually pull him back by the width of a character, the width of of, of uh, my hero. So currently he's going the full width of the screen. If I take this to be um, my x equals zero, this is my zero zero position of my character. And I want to bring him back the width of the character. So let's go in here, go to our event. Um, so how do we make that make that work? Okay, well, I want to go. My X position needs to be smaller than, well, not just the screen width. It needs to be even smaller than the screen width because the screen width is all the way out here. I need to minus the width of of uh, my my um, of self my character so let's go on to math yep there we go we have some options here so let's take my screen width and let's minus the width of self and what I want to do I'm going to take that and throw it away and I want to set it to that that same position this is what happens when you don't want to hold on alt and alt you can copy this down there you go okay let's test this out see if it works so I'm saying if my X position is greater than screen width minus the width of the character then set the exhibition exposition to screen width minus the width of the character so here's my character who's hanging out oh look at that it works beauty so my guess that this side here is x equals zero on my character is, is correct and I'm assuming that the y equals zero probably up here as well so it's probably the top left corner um, so if you want to edit the uh, top and bottom code then, then you have that option um, if you are to make a full barrier I'll, I won't do that now but I'll, I'll leave you to do that to do the y position it might be good to edit your scene and make it so you can test it out rather than just guessing okay you always want to be able to test that out so close this so again we completed the first I'm trapped um, extra activity for lesson two of the educators uh, kit there's two more there's one that's wrap around that um, gives you the option to well I want to be able to instead of stopping here when I go past this side I want to appear on this on on the other side so this is going to be very similar to the one we just did one little tip though when we add a new event go new event here call it uh, call it wrap uh, what do they call it wrap around 
wrap around, enter. Just make sure to uncheck this. Make sure to uncheck that. That makes this I'm trapped behavior not work anymore. And you know the cool thing you can do, you can even copy. You can copy this and paste it if you want to use. Maybe you want to use something similar. I'm not sure. It's going to use similar code, but it, it adds the similar idea. So instead of setting, you got to think. Well, you probably have similar if statements. I'm going to break it down. Be like, well, if my character is out here, I want him now to appear down there. Okay, if my character is out here, I want him to appear down here. So speak it out, you know, speak it out. If this is happening, then I want him to the, do this. So once you are able to put into words, then you're able to put into these blocks as well. All right, so I'll, I'll leave that for you, and um, I'll make some solutions to that as well later on. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.